and I'm like torches. Oops. So we want to have balcony. And the stairs come up here. This is meant to be a solid wall, so we can we can't actually use that space. Um that's the top step. And so we are going to have to fit It's not going to fit anything, is it? What if we... Door there... We can't have a balcony the whole way through. What if we just make another bedroom up here, instead of trying to fit two bedrooms in here? And keep in mind that the ceiling is at this level. So you know you can't really jump here. Not that it matters. Door there again facing out just to have it count. And double bed there, double chest there. Alright, that's the last bedroom. And then this can be a hallway leading out to this balcony there. It's a bit strange. Let's see, a bedroom. Here. Door out. Door out. Another bedroom here, balcony. Maybe another door here. So how many doors actually count as villages? One. Two, three, four. <laughs> so in this large apartment, we still only have like one villager. Increase the villager count by one. Okay, let me just think about this. Is there any way I can squeeze in more doors just for the hell of it? Someone suggested we can put doors underground. I don't know if that actually works. Because if it's all underground... Oh, I, can, I, can, I guess I can put them near the edge of the plinth underground. It's a bit far away though. See, we can't really squeeze in any more doors here without it looking really strange. I mean, that, that's not... Obviously, that's going to have to be like that. Seats and, and bookshelves. One, two. Three. Four. No, I guess we can't. There's like two double bedrooms, although that's kind of smaller than the other one. This long corridor is a waste of space. That's pretty obvious. Ouch. What if we don't have the long corridor? Well, I see we just have a wall there. What if we don't have a long corridor? And we put stairs up. Somewhere here. Which side should we put it? I guess it doesn't really matter which side we put it. Whoa! Nearly jumped off. Um, get rid of this. It does not actually increase the number of doors, though. 
Although it makes the space a little more efficient, I think. Not sure, maybe it doesn't. Let's have the staircase here. We can... did I leave a... yes. We can push this back. Make the bathroom a little bit smaller. So cauldron, step, bath, door. Make the kitchen a little smaller, because I mean that's a pretty big kitchen already. Push this this way make this the staircase right, right, yes step, step step the last step has to be there bit strange that shape. Probably put something there. I don't know what to put there but I'll think of something. So staircase here. Oh wait, wait a minute. Then we can't walk out this way. It would be nice if bed there. In fact, Is that going to work? Yes it is. I think. I hope so. That's a bit strange now, that. Okay, never mind. Again... No... Well... We have a balcony here and then another door here. I think we should do the same thing here. So we have a door here... But also a balcony here here. And then we can put in the it doesn't really fit, does it? Let's say we have two single beds and then a chest, a single chest each. And then a door out to a balcony, and another door to the, the other balcony. Stairs up. Open area, glass. You can probably look down into the pool if that's all glass. Nice view, nice view. So there's like three staircases. One each leading to the two bedrooms, and then this one leading straight from the lower balcony up to the upper balcony. I don't have enough dirt to actually fill this in, unfortunately. So I might have to... I might have to, um... come back with this. Actually, I might end this little segment here. I mean, we're not finished, but I think I've recorded quite a bit. Maybe I should... Should I get more dirt and try to fill this out, just to show you guys? Well, let me think about that. I might just release this video, I might get more dirt and fill this out and show you what the bigger apartment should look like. So, <laughs> a significant proportion of the big apartment is the pool, in fact. 
uh, probably say a third of it is the pool, which is interesting. Um, okay, let me let me do something and then come back. All right, so I've recovered some of the dirt by you know replacing the some of the stuff with dark wood. You can see well, you can't really see. So the floors on the outside. I was just thinking what I should do for the floors. I'm thinking. I mean, for the ground floor in these apartments, you can use whatever you want. But up above, you see how it's, you know, the ceiling of the lower floor and the floor of the upper floor is the same block. And so, I mean, here it's okay, I can do whatever I want. Because the outdoors, the balcony matches. I was thinking like I have dark wood for the outdoors and light wood for the indoors. But the problem here is that in this apartment, the large one, like this is outdoors, but upstairs, that same spot is indoors, so I can't use that same scheme. Or rather, no, no, sorry, so this is all outdoors, there's going to be a window here, so that's the outdoor balcony. But the outdoor balcony is also the indoors for the bathroom here, and it's the same on the other side as well. Well, I've built the, the pool. <laughs> So there's going to be glass blocks on the edges, and yeah, you can chill out in the pool, check out the scenery. That's kind of fun. So here, like, so upstairs, that's all outdoors, which is fine. But then you, that's indoors, upstairs, but it's outdoors downstairs, and so on and so forth. So I, I, I might just have dark wood for all of the upper floors, light wood for the flooring down here. It's a bit strange, so usually you have light ceilings and dark floors, but I don't know how to think about that. In any case, I've gathered back enough dirt to cover all of this up. So then you have the upstairs bedroom, upstairs balcony, upstairs bigger balcony, and then another upstairs balcony, and then another upstairs bedroom here. So all these openings are going to be windows. And again, like you can't really see up, you can see a little bit up. But you can look down from the beds, you can see people if you want to. And this is gonna be glass. Glass railings on the on the balconies. Alright, so that's that and it might be a while before the next set of videos because what I plan to do now is to build most of the hotel rooms. So that's you know, there's a large one, there's a small one. And gonna be small one, and another two small ones. And then here, this is probably gonna be another two small ones, just because this pathway has to go all the way to the end to join up with the staircase here, so there's only enough room for the smaller module. Which, I might change this apartment a little bit, just so there's more openings out this way, because, you know, there's a view here as well. but. Minor changes, but it's going to be more small apartments. It's going to be a large one, two small ones, two small ones, and two more small ones. So there's that. There's the same thing downstairs, and then there's the same thing on the other side. So as you can see, there's a lot of building, and it's going to be very repetitive because I'm just going to build this module over and over again. So it's not going to be very interesting. So I'm just thinking I'll build all of that off screen. And then when that's done, I'll come back and we'll see what we do next. So let me just step back and look at it from the outside. So you can see there, you know, there's a dark wood, there's dark wood, but if it's dark and then light and then light and then dark, it's going to look a bit strange from the outside as well, so that's another thing I have to consider. I don't want it to look strange here. I mean, that already looks a bit strange because that's kind of open and then not, and then there's the stone, so it's <laughs> a little strange from the outside. But maybe that's just something I have to deal with later. Like, imagine the dirt's not there. So that's glass there, there's a bit of glass there. So like, if that was also the dark wood, and then if that was also the dark wood, you see how that would... in the make, give it a consistent line across, so that's all dark wood, and so on and so forth. So there would be more consistent consistency in the patterns. So probably the the ordinary wood for the walls 
glass for the railings, dark wood for the floors. So then you have these continuous lines across the whole thing. That probably looks better than having you know dark and light and dark and light in seemingly random patterns. All right, so you know stuff to consider as you do this. So then the same thing again down here, and I'll build it off screen. And so yeah, it might take a while before the next video. We'll see. And again, there's those things. Let's see, from the interior, it'll just be solid, like there's no windows. There, looking... Actually, you won't see that because the restaurant's going to be up here, so it doesn't really matter. You'll see this, though. That's going to be a... Maybe I should put some windows on the lower one, because the upstairs there's the restaurant, so you don't want to look into the restaurant, really. But down here, you might want to look into the lobby. That might be good. From down here, you can kind of see windows upstairs and windows here, so you can tell it's going to be rooms, hotel rooms. Again, it's a bit difficult to visualize what it's going to be like, but uh, I'll build it, and then hopefully it'll be a bit more clear when I do. Alright, that's it for now, I guess. A lot of building for me, and hopefully... You know, by the time I finish the building, the next update's gonna be out and I can get the colored stairs because I want the, as in the other types of wood, stairs. That would be useful. Alright, let's get on with it.